how would you like to save $1,000 a year on your power bill? That's what thousands of people are doing in northern New South Wales, thanks to an Aussie First scheme. A small company based in the Northern Rivers region, run by a group of enterprising women, is shaking up the electricity in industry by changing the way that power is purchased. And our Simon went along to investigate. In the small towns, the rolling hills and along the beaches of one of Australia's most popular holiday areas, there's a quiet transformation taking place. As Australians increasingly seek out local produce grown by local farmers, there is a small company here in the Byron Shire that is hoping to bring that same philosophy to our energy purchasing. At the moment, you've got a highly centralised system with big generators, long transmission and distribution lines, all the way energy in and losing 10% on the way, and all the way money out, 300 million leaving our region alone on people's power bills every year. Alison Crook is chair of Innova Energy and a passionate advocate for Australia's first community-owned electricity provider. So the story is, let's keep it local, let's keep the money circulating in the community. Many of Innova's 6,000 customers are also shareholders. They generate, store and even sell their surplus solar energy back to the grid. Sarah Swan and Jeremy Byrne, who set up 100 Mile Table in the Byron Arts and Industrial Estate, believe they have a role in driving change. We can all help in, in a small way and we just have to, people just have to start taking action. The philosophy is to source as much as we can from within a, within a 100 mile radius or as locally as we can and that's not just food. If we can get an, a locally owned energy company then, then we'll jump on board with that too. One of Byron's great success stories, Spell and the Gypsy Collective, became an early client of Innova. Lisa Welsh is general manager. We're always looking at ways to minimise the impact that we are having on the environment, so we do want to lessen our footprint as much as we can. So if we can jump on board energy providers like Innova that are using renewable energy, then that impact that we are going to have is obviously going to be better for the planet. So you'd be saving 240 kilowatt hours a year. Innova sends energy coaches like Anne to audit potential clients' homes looking for efficiencies. Linda Sparrow runs the not-for-profit Bangalow Koalas and is already a solar user. We've got new panels I put in last year. Right. In the last four months, it's like I get excited every time I open the bill. Artist and designer Jules Hunt is an Innova shareholder. Her gallery roof has solar panels that feed into the microgrid project, which shares stored energy to other users. The community benefits from everyone being involved. The bills are better. It seems to me a no-brainer to go with a model that works that will save people money. But it's not to me, it's not just about the money, it's about the future for our children. Solar gardens, microgrids, even the language is new for most Australians. CEO Felicity Stenning is committed to shaking up the landscape. We're a disruptor in the market. We're here to stay. We know we're on the right side of history and it's really important to be delivering long-term impactful change for future communities. We're looking to expand across New South Wales and into Queensland, Victoria and South Australia. The company says 50% of its profits go back into community projects and that localised energy systems have another advantage. It means that if there is a bushfire or a cyclone or a flood, we're less, we're less exposed. So it actually gives us greater energy security. And everyone's craving um, finding their little community within, within a bigger picture. That as much as we can, pulling a closer type community just makes sense to everyone. Great it's story, terrific story. There you go. <laughs> yes, and over are moving into Sydney and Newcastle and Wollongong in October in the oh, next month. So we'll put great. the details up on our Facebook page and you can follow their story because they really are moving and shaking oh, in I that love space. That line. And the CEO, we're on the right side of history. Yeah. That was a great line. I just love anyone that is prepared to get out have there a crack and have a go. And change things. The yep. Well done. Yeah. 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 What I she agree. said. What she said.